Hi, my name is Kayla and this is my brand new channel, Whisk, Paint, Write, Make. Uh, today we're going to make a super fun rug. It looks like this. So, to make this rug, you're going to need a couple of materials. First of all, you're going to need some paint. I chose black and white. And then you're going to need um, two shades of your favorite color. So I did turquoise. You're going to need a ruler. Uh, See-through is usually easier, but any ruler will do. And if you're going to do polka dots like me, uh, I suggest using one of these nifty tulip brushes. You can get these at Walmart or a craft store. And you're going to need some paint brushes. These are a good size, or you can choose smaller or larger, whichever one you prefer. And then you're going to need a glue gun, my best friend. And also, you will need, you're going to need a drop cloth. I got mine at Home Depot, but you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's, and probably even Walmart. And lastly, you're going to need a non-slip backing. So this is a shower pan liner. You can get it at Home Depot. It comes in a big roll and they'll cut it for you. I got two feet which will make about two rugs. It's about uh, twice this length. But you can also use a non-slip pad that you would get at Walmart and that comes in the rolls. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut this in a 22 by 30 inch rectangle. And then after you get it cut, you're going to set it aside and you're going to get your drop cloth and you're going to cut a 23 by 31 inch rectangle. So you want this to be an inch larger on each side because whenever you get done, it'll fit right inside here. And there's little tabs that we're going to make and I'll show you how to make those too. Alright, here's the fun part. First, we're going to hot glue gun the edges right here. You're going to get your glue gun. You're going to just do a little line of glue all the way across the top. And then be very careful the glue is hot and you're just going to fold this over so it makes a nice little hem. Careful of your fingers. I can't tell you how many times I've burned myself. Alright, so now once you get everything down, it should look like this, kind of like it's been hemmed. You're just going to want to snip off your extra strings. So they don't get in your way later. Alright, since we're already on this side, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the tabs that you're going to use to slide in your rubber mat piece. So you're going to want to get some leftover cloth. What I did, here's my leftover cloth. Looks like this, just a nice long strip. Now we're going to want four pieces because you're going to do them like this, kind of like a frame where you would tuck a picture in. So that's kind of what we're going for right here. You don't have to, you can leave on the hemmed part for this because it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go like this. And this doesn't have to be precise. As long as it fits on there, you're good. Unless you're a precision patty, and then by all means, I 
have a lot of friends who are perfectionists, so I understand if you need to measure and make it look perfect. Alright, so for this part, I'm just going to glue right here. So I want it to go right there. And again, if you have a sewing machine, you could tack it on with your sewing machine. Too scary, right? Now you're just gonna do this to each side. So we've got that corner. Alright, so when it gets done, it should look like this, kind of like a picture frame. Alright, now that we've got that done, we can move to the fun part. So you're going to turn it over, and since I'm just using acrylic paint, I'm not going to line this, because I know I can clean it up. But you could, if you're going to use a different surface, you could put down newspaper, or cut open a trash bag. So you're going to lay your nice rug piece flat. And then you're going to get a square that is 7 by 7 inches. So I just cut mine out on grid paper. You could use regular paper as well. Or you could just draw it straight on here. Whatever is easiest for you. So to find the middle. I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm just going to fold this in half, pinch it like that, and then I know it's right here where my index finger is. So I'm just going to put my finger here and just make a little mark. So I know that's the middle of my rug. And then I know this is the middle of my square. So I'm not too exact on measurements, as you can see. I just do what looks right. So this is my little square. And you're just going to trace your square directly on there. I'm just using a pencil. And your line does not have to be perfect. I actually recommend that it not be. Um, I'm going to just mark the corners here. And then you just connect the dots. This is going to give it... After you paint it, I'm going to do kind of a watercolor type effect. So, and I feel like there's less pressure, so you don't have to make it look perfect every time. So now, once you have your square here, you're going to connect this point to this point here. So, I'm going to go from here to here. And this isn't perfect either, so don't worry about that. And you're going to go from here here. And you're going to do the same thing over here. Connect this dot to this one in the corner. And then we're going to connect this dot to this one over here. There we go. So now I have the shape of a bow. So to make it look kind of three dimensional, you're going to put your pencil here. And you're just going to go like this. So you have a pointed oval right here. 
just like that. And then you're just going to do it on this other side. So it looks like that. So you're just going to do that to one side. So now that you have that drawn on, I wanted my background to have stripes. So I'm just going to use my ruler and add some stripes. I'm going to do a dry brush effect because I don't want mine to be saturated. All right, now that we have our bow painted in, we're going to do our polka dots. This is where you're gonna want your tulip brush. And your white paint. Can I just put some white paint in here? Now that our piece is dry, we're going to flip it over. I'm going to place our mat inside these things right here. So you'll get your corner, and you're just going to tuck this in, just like that. So this is just <clears throat> going to keep it weighed down. Here we go. Put it over. <clears throat> and there we have our rug. <clears throat> 